First video of day six in Iceland. We are on the road to hit up the West Fjords. By yesterday I noticed we had a little problem with tire pressure in our front left tire. And uh, I noticed uh, Iceland has a very different way of filling tires. So you have this machine here, little digital tire pressure gauge, and you set it to what we need. And I think we need two and a half bar, so it's about 36 PSI, like that, good. And you just go to the tire. Undo the valve cap. Put this on. It just starts pumping. The machine beeps and it's done. Hello, so we've driven a few hours on day six uh, up in the northern part of the West Fjords and the scenery here is very, very beautiful. It's just isolation. And uh, we saw some unique looking ruins um, just back on the road there. There's like a, a circle. It almost looks like a half of an igloo made of rock. And so we pulled up and it looks like there's a bit of a uh, tourist attraction here. And we are going to go check it out because there's a sign that says coffee and waffles. And one of those things starts with a C. Sounds great to me right now. Okay, let's just read what the sign says. Litley Bear. 1895. Yeah, a hayfield around the house is enclosed by a stone wall and has an area of three hectares. Residents lived off fishing and farming. The house at Litley Bear has an area of only 3.9 by 7.4 meters. There were two kitchen outhouses nearby. As many as 20 people lived in the house at times. Wow. And it was occupied until 1969. Just south of the stone wall are the ruins of circular stone built shelter which is considered much older than the stone construction at Litliber. Yeah, so that's an old shelter down there, which looks like this, but we might go up to it a little later. But first, let's get some coffee. Yeah. Coffee and waffles. Wow, this is pretty cool. Feels like I've stepped back in time. If it weren't for the uh, SUV sitting there, then that would be the case. Beautiful property. Wow, so this isn't a very big house. Um, I am six feet high and right now my head is touching the ceiling. So, yeah, and I'm standing perfectly straight up. Oh, what do we have? Oh, we have some sheepskin. Oh, wow. That is cool. Yeah, sweet old lady uh, welcomed us and offered us uh, coffee and waffles. But uh, right now we're just uh, having a look through the house. This is amazing. This is such a cute little house. Oh, hello. Yeah, how'd you end up on this mount? Was it that gun behind you? I think so. This is pretty cool. A oh, little dining room. Can I look in the kitchen? Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm filming. So, hello. <laughs> hello. What's your name? Yeah, I'm from Iceland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so from? We're from Canada. Canada? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a long way from home, so, yeah. Do you live here no, in this house? No. no? I live in uh, one kilometer. Okay. Pitanes. I guess we're 
eating in here. Yep. Oh, yum. Thank you. Oh, I just hit my head on that. Here is my delicious looking waffle. Never seen a, a waffle with such tiny little squares, but I guess it matches the house. It looks like the, um, I can't remember the name of it, but there's the, the Dutch waffles. Oh? They're, they're like little syrup cakes. Syrup cakes. Yeah, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but they have those tiny little squares I th like that. I think I know what you're talking about. Is it a jam? One is rhubarb and one is blueberry. Mm -hmm. Yummy. I'm going to put mm -hmm. some of everything on this waffle. Even your coffee? No, no coffee on the waffle. Even the cream? Not the cream. Whipped cream, though. Mm -hmm. And... Do one of these. Oh, boy. Yummy. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to stop filming and start eating. So that was seriously the highlight of our day. Um, meeting that sweet old couple. It was like going over to grandma's and getting fed treats. Yeah. And then she showed us a picture on the wall. So her husband grew up in that house. And there was a picture on the wall of her husband with their grandson. But above that was a picture of her husband as the grandson and the grandfather in the picture. So it was sort of a neat, yeah. uh, neat bit of history, the neat connection that she had to the place. And, yeah. yeah. So we backtracked a little ways back to this shelter here. You can see that little house off in the distance. Tiny little house, which apparently housed 19 people. But uh, yeah, I guess that's the way that people uh, used to live here. So we're going to check out this old shelter. Um, this must predate the house, so... Yeah, come on in! Oh, I see some wool. Apparently the sheeps like to hang out in here. Yeah, so... I think this, uh, at one point would have resembled an igloo, but, uh, you know, with a rock base here, and then, you know, probably some sort of covered roof using uh, I don't know whatever whatever wood they can find and grass and dirt and whatever but yeah this is this is neat I imagine it would have taken them a really long time to uh, stack all these rocks together you know collect them from off in the distance so yeah yeah this is any houses that were built today this looks like oregano um, would stand the test of time like this it's not it's not it's, anything it's not oregano no. i don't think herbs are a common thing here no, they are. That's why really they so oh oh well i see some poop down here ah. here's a map of the west fjords of iceland uh, i want to show you where we are we are currently right here so we started our journey into the West Fjords from all the way down here. We went whining along here, la 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 la. That little place where we stopped for uh, delicious uh, waffles was uh, back here. And so we are pretty close to this town called Suthavik, which is off in the distance here. Sarah's taking some pictures. So this is looking down one of the smaller fjords here. Beautiful view. We're right at the point here of this uh, finger that goes out into the uh, North Atlantic. Did you see me standing on the rock? No, I missed it. Oh, I was standing on the rock. You can go see everything. All the way around. Cool. So apparently that next town, the one that starts with an I, well not, not oh, that one, but the yeah. one afterwards is pretty spectacular. They have some oh, yeah? 
pretty good history there. So we should try to check that place out soon. So we stopped in Suthavik at the Arctic Fox Museum. So we just had a, uh, a quick tour um, with some information about the different types of foxes. And this is the one that is found in Iceland. Um, Iceland's a pretty uh, nice environment for them because um, there's no diseases or anything like that for them and they yeah they, they thrive here. There's been a recent uh, spike in their population um, thanks to uh, laws that protect them from um, certain kinds of hunting. So uh, yeah we're just checking out the museum on the inside and then we're going to step outside and look at some real live arctic foxes. Oh, they're just little pups. Hey. Hello little pups. Are they ever cute? Hi. Hey. Hey, come here. <laughs> Apparently these ones are only uh, four months old and they were orphaned and uh, this uh, society brought them in and is taking care of them. <laughs> so I think earlier today uh, made a video of uh, yeah. us filling up yeah. one of the tires on our rental. Well, that air didn't last very long and uh, I decided to have a closer look at the tire. Well, as you see, I've got uh, the uh, equipment out to change this tire because if you look on the inside of this thing, there's actually cords showing back here and this tire is on its very last legs. I'm surprised it's actually held up for us. So Sarah's on the phone with the rental company right now trying to negotiate. Uh, their policy is uh, is uh, if, if you have a flat you need to just get the flat fixed on your own dime. But uh, this tire ain't worth fixing in its current condition. So I have what, good news. what's the news? I apologize for the inconvenience. They feel really bad that we're driving around without a spare tire. Um, and they said that if we have a little bit of spare time and we're in a town that can facilitate it, um, if we uh, get another tire put on the spare room, they'll reimburse us when we get back and when we, when we return the camper. Well, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, because well, they don't want us driving around without a spare. And yeah. I don't think it's a really good idea. Makes either. sense. So, um, yeah, so they said if, if we... Uh, if we get another tire put on, then uh, they'll reimburse us the cost of it, so. Well, why don't we get this spare put on and uh, drive to the next town, I-Town, I like to call I this town. one. And, uh, not endorsed by Apple. Yeah, not endorsed by Apple. Steve Jobs. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll get this fixed up and then on the road. So, watch, I'll snap my fingers and the new tire will be on. Boom. Done. I also made the sun come out when I did that. Here, check out this tire. Ooh, nasty. That's so nasty. Look at that. No wonder why it was leaking. It's like someone threw it through some bad mud too. Yeah. I wonder who did that. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stow this thing under the vehicle and get it replaced. So we're stopped in this campground just out of, outside of uh, Isifridur, which I like to call I-Town. Um, this campground is really nice. There's a waterfall, beautiful scenery. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, the town is just down that way. Uh, we went to check in at the campground, but there's nobody in the office. They only uh, staff the office from 8 to 9 a.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. But we did need some showers and we found free shower facilities. Yay! 
So we sort of snuck down here without checking in. Well, we can't really check in. Nobody there. And I just had a shower. So now I'm just uh, trimming my nails and uh, I didn't bring my my own nail trimmer. So I'm using Sarah's, which is like really tiny. And I don't know how, uh, I don't know. I wish I had my own. I, I don't understand this. This is taking like way too long. I, I gave up after doing one hand and um, just to do this video because I got bored, but I shall continue. Oh yeah, and uh, we're also gonna try to get our tire fixed here soon. Um, we checked out a tire place in town, but uh, yeah, the tire place is closed, so we're gonna have to camp and then hopefully get it fixed tomorrow. That's it for now.